Hi, my name is Rosaria Pipitone and I will be your host for the Job Application vs. Resume Workshop. In today's presentation, we will learn the difference between a job application and a resume, how to properly complete a job application, the purpose of each document, common application errors, and some additional do's and don'ts. So what is the difference? A job application is required for all applications. It is used to compare candidates utilizing the same guidelines. And most importantly, it is a legal document. A resume is optional at times, although career services might argue that you should submit a resume for every job you apply for. A resume is created to showcase individual knowledge, skills, and abilities. It will describe education and work history in much more depth. So what is the purpose of a job application? It shows the employer the applicant can read and follow directions. It reflects meticulous, organized behavior. It asks information resume may not provide, such as criminal history and social security number and again very important it is a legal document so some do's and don'ts in your job application do follow directions carefully make sure you input the right information into the right sections read over the application before starting and sending you want to make sure you submit an application that is neatly written and accurate. Be consistent with information stated on your resume. For example, dates of employment, date of graduation. Use proper grammar, tenses, and capitalization. And please contact your professional references before using them as a reference. We don't want the employer to have any confusion during this application process. And don't exaggerate experiences, skills, or education. Only write information you can back up. A common example of a, a job application exaggeration is language skills. If you are fluent in a language, it is different than if you are conversational in a language. Also, this applies to technical skills. Don't leave anything blank. Do not put C resume for redundant questions. They are two different documents that need to be completed and submitted. Do not lie. It is a legal document. Do not use text language such as you are, you, lol, or two. Some possible roadblocks may be criminal history. Our recommendation is to be honest. If you do not feel comfortable disclosing in the application, write requesting to discuss in person or email. Unemployment gaps. Unemployment gap, loss of unemployment, can be a result of different situations. Try to provide an explanation. The rule of thumb is minimal disclosure of information is acceptable. Allow yourself to explain in further detail either in the cover letter or in your interview. No employment history. Did you know that unpaid work, freelance or contract work, volunteer work, all, all worthy of noting, as well as that internship? Make sure you come see a career service professional if you're concerned about your employment history. And digital dirt. Google yourself. Manage your social media presence when applying for jobs because because most likely the employer will be Googling you. So some common errors we see in job application. Placing wrong information in the wrong area. Lack of proper capitalization. Again, not contacting the references beforehand or putting references that are friends or family members. We don't recommend that in most situations. 
Eliminating important information such as degree, dates attended, supervisor's name. Not including a salary preference. If the employer is requesting you submit a salary preference, come see us if you have any questions about that. Information on a resume and job application are not consistent. Very important to cross-reference and not using reverse chronological order for employment history. The same rule applies to resumes. And in general, just leaving fields blank. Remember, it, it is okay to put a pause on your job application in order to complete the application properly and thoroughly. Here are some useful websites we use to help you fill out a job application. The Pinellas Ex-Offender Reentry Coalition, Optimal Resume, great tool for resume templates and samples. Burning Glass is another SPC resume tool and a great resource to research local salary information. For more questions, visit us on our website. You can follow our blog or tweet us at CareerSPC. Good luck with your job application process.